We're here at Holcomb Garden Center. I've got Megan Molinax at the Fort Oglethorpe store, and today we are making what is called a miniature garden. Here I thought we're talking about container gardening, but no, it is something really special. Yes, it is. Um, it's where you get a small container and you put small plants and different types of little accessories in it. And it's a really methodical, nice way to trim on something, maybe put it in your office. Or um, it's also a really fun activity for kids. And you are telling me earlier that these are really popular. People they love are. these. Yeah, they're insanely popular right now. Um, people all over are finding very interesting ways to put together their own fairy garden or miniature garden. Well, speaking of interesting way, we're going to try to build one here. I know we've got a wonderful example mm -hmm. here that was put together earlier. It looks perfect. Mine, we'll see, <laughs> but what is the first thing that we need to do? I noticed we got the box here. Mm -hmm. Well, your first thing that you need to do with any fairy garden containers, most of them don't have um, drainage holes. Okay. And so you'll want to put some gravel down in the bottom of it. All right, so we'll get some gravel here. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about it is, is you got all the gravel, you got all the accessories here mm -hmm. that is needed. So how much do I put in there? The whole bag uh, or? No. No, okay. No, about half an inch worth. About half an inch worth. Good. That looks good. All right, I got mm -hmm. the gravel. Set that over to the yep. side. Now you'll want to kind of figure out where you want all of your plants to go. And I love the little plants here because you've got plants that are almost specifically designed for this. They are. Right. Um, and what are some of these plants? This is called Salaginella. Okay. Um, it's kind of like, it grows like a moss or a low growing grass. And so it's good for fairy gardens because it'll just stay low. Okay, we got this beautiful purple one here. Mm -hmm. That's a miniature um, African violet. And I know mentioned earlier you wanted us to take these out of mm -hmm. the little pots here, but leave that one in there, right? Yeah. All right, You'll so want to leave this one in here because African violets don't like a lot of water. So if you leave it in the little pot, that'll keep it from absorbing all the excess water from your miniature garden. We got a tall one to kind of go in the back, if you mm -hmm. will. Yeah. It'll just give it a little dimension, a little height, make it look more like a real garden. I'm going to move this guy up here. Yeah, you can go ahead and put the house on it. All right, so we selected a little little house here. I don't know which mm -hmm. way, that, I guess it goes right here? Yep. All right. And you'll just grab some sand and just pour it along where you want your path. Of course, uh, sand that you guys have available mm -hmm. here at the store. All we right. do. So we'll go ahead and a You path. can be pretty generous. I can it. be pretty generous? All right. Mm -hmm. A lot of sand. This will be my little beach here as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and then you'll just spread it out and kind of even it out a little bit, and you'll add your little stones. All right, spread it out, even it out a little bit. And these little guys right here, mm -hmm. just uh, kind of do the same thing? Yep, do the same thing. There's no right or wrong way to do it. <laughs> oh, all right, got that in there. Um, you can add a little bit of mulch around the sides just to kind of hide got that some mulch dirt. here too. Yeah, this is basically just regular pine mulch. It's just mulch regular or... pine mulch. Yeah. All right, so on the sides, wow. Let me actually impress myself here. <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to look really good. All right, so we'll spread that a little bit here. Yep, and then we've got a few little accessories for you. Um, we've got a little bird in a nest and a little fairy. A little fairy here, a little bird in the nest. We've got some mm -hmm. gnomes that are available as well. Yeah, we do have gnomes. <laughs> put the bird there, and we'll put the little fairy. Let's put her yep. right there. And we've got a gazing ball and some stepping stones for Gazing you. ball, that's what that is called. Yep, right. it attracts birds. Okay, um, well, so. since we got the bird here, we'll put the gazing ball over there. Mm -hmm. And then little tiny stepping stones. That's yep. <laughs> that's fabulous. So just kind of put these right along the path? Yep, just put those One, right along and you're set. Two, three. Mm -hmm. And that's your little miniature garden. Well, the great thing about it is, is that we have all of these items available here at Holcomb. We got the box, we got the different types of plants. And there, I mean, these are just a few of the different types of plants and selections that you guys oh, have. Yeah. And of course, uh, they've got a lot more, whether you want it to be the fairy garden, whether you guys want it to be a gnome garden. Mm -hmm. Miniature gardening is very popular, great for the desks, great for the kids at home. Always a lot of fun. I appreciate it. This, yeah, this no was problem. fun. I, 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 I don't think it looks too bad at all. What Not do you think? At all. Not I quite like yours. <laughs> so. No, it looks great. All right, well, we appreciate it. <laughs> Miniature gardening. I love it. Brian, that looked good. I'm, oh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Learn more at Holcomb's Garden Center, 5513 Highway 153 in Hickson. There's their telephone number or Battlefield Parkway in Fort Oglethorpe. You've got their phone number there on your screen. HolcombGC.com. Good family. Holcomb Garden Center. Go uh, check them out.